What's going on guys, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to customize your footer section. All right, so this will apply to both plain Jane and plain Jane interactive themes um, for V3 and V2. Um, if you don't have plain Jane, you can get it from the description below. Um, but I'll basically be showing you guys how to take your footer from something like this to make it look something more like this. You know, adding links and, um, you know, accounts and different things like that. All right, so but, uh, before we begin, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. All right, guys, so first things first, we're gonna start from our Shopify dashboard, and you're gonna go to your online store, themes, and then you're gonna click on your plain Jane theme here and hit customize. Now, once you're inside, I want to scroll down to the very bottom to look at our footer here. This is how it should look when you first get Plain Jane, whether it's Plain Jane Interactive or just regular Plain Jane. Um, it's going to look like this. So we have two areas where we can customize a footer. We have our theme settings. We click theme settings and go to our footer settings here. It, this controls all of the information, like the the content, the text here, you know, the button content, um, layout options and display features or settings. Um, typography colors and yeah that's about it there and then the second place is if you go to sections and scroll to the bottom we have our footer here and this is how we're gonna actually add a menu to our footer so see right here how add a menu pops up or if you click this little blue plus click that you'll have a quick links thing pop up if you look on your right hand side, you can change the name of the heading for this. So let's call this maybe, um, uh, let me think of it. Maybe just call it shortcuts or something. And then hit menu select and you select a menu that you have already on your Shopify store. So I'm going to do, let's do shop menu. All right. So we have a shortcut to all of our, our categories here. Um, so now let's let's try to put some more here. Let's do another add menu and let's do the footer menu. So we have all this stuff here and set quick links. I'm going to name this one uh, policies or another one. Maybe you can even just say legal. All right. Um, and then let's make a social, a social media section here. So we'll do one more. All right, I'm going to quick links here, do social media. Um, I don't have a social media menu yet, so let's create one really fast. So if you don't know how to create a menu, this is basically how you do it. You would, uh, you know, you'd come here to where you would select a menu and then just hit create menu if you need to make one. So we're going to call this one socials. Then I'm going to do Instagram. You want to just type in your Instagram link. Com slash face.io. Oh, whoops. If you want to click this, forgot that's the way it works on this. We add another menu item here. Let's do X. This is just the URL to your social media profile click that and okay I'm just gonna save this and we're gonna go back social media socials there we go and now we have Instagram and X down here. So if you want socials to be more at the top, you can easily drag these around. You know, if you wanted to be right there or maybe on the you know the left hand side, you can drag these around and figure it out. Um, then next we have our theme settings. So let's go take a closer look at those. So if you go to the theme settings and footer settings, you can change the text of our you know the email header here. Uh, I'm just gonna put testing this out. See how that changes see there. Same thing with the description text. Oh, whoops. This description text controls this area right here. Uh, email placeholder text right here where it says email address. You can put whatever you want here. You can fill that. 
uh, privacy policy text. Um, you could choose to put nothing here, but it's always the best practice to put some kind of privacy policy here when it comes to accepting people's emails. Um, and then subscribe. And then we have the footer copyright text, which is down here. So um, you definitely want to update that to 2025. Uh, and then put your brand's name there. All right, so here we go. And then we have our layout and display. So if you want to show your payment options, right now this store isn't configured for payments right now. Um, but you can show all of the different payment badges like PayPal, Klarna, um, you know, Visa, MasterCard, or whatever. If you have this checked and it's set up on your store, it'll show up automatically below here. You can hide the footer on all the pages, show the footer on only the home page, show the footer on the collection pages, or you can hide them on the collection pages. Uh, show for the copyright, which is that this bottom text that we talked about before, right here. Um, it can even hide the show uh, email footer sign up. If you don't want to show if you don't want to like collect emails you can hide that as well so you just have the you know the three columns here that's so really up to you um, let me bring it back scroll back down okay cool um, and then we have all the different color options right here for everything that you can uh, possibly imagine here So that's everything there is to know about the plain Jane footer. Um, you know, hopefully this gave you guys some value and helped you out with understanding the theme. If you still have any questions, um, you know, feel free to include them in the comment section below or to reach out to our customer service. If you go to um, open spaces design and just hit our live support chat right here. We're available from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday or 6 p.m. Sorry. But that's about it for today, guys. Till next time. Peace.